hi Bex. It is Monday, July 25th. Bex, the shaky camera work in your last video reminded me of a phenomenon that I recently learned about that I found really interesting. It's called saccadic... saccadic? It's called saccadic masking. Now, there are movies like Blair Witch Project and Cloverfield where there's all this shaky camera work and people get motion sickness a lot. But you notice this doesn't really happen just walking around in real life. This is because what saccadic masking does is basically when you're having that shaky motion, you are basically blind. Uh, this is actually in effect for about 40 minutes each day. So think about that. About 40 minutes a day, you're blind and you don't even notice it. I bet you're probably going to want to try this now. Go ahead, try looking around the room. You're not going to see a blur whizzing past for most of it. You're going to just see nothing. And you're not even, even focusing on trying to see nothing. You might now and then catch it, but really, even trying to see it, you're not going to notice it. You'll notice the absence of a blur, and that's about it. One example that shows this in action is, like say, if you're looking in a mirror, and you focus on like first one of your eyes and then the other, and just look back and forth without moving your head, just your eyes, it's not going to look to you like your eyes are moving, but if someone else is looking at you, they will see your eyes going back and forth. sure if that worked. I guess we'll see. This is also responsible for some interesting phenomena. Um, probably the most well known of which, even if not by name, is called the stop clock phenomena. And this is like when you kind of glance at a clock with a second hand, and then you have to look again because it seems like it was on that second for a really long time. What's happening is that you're glancing at the clock like just as the second turns, so you see the full second that comes after that. But leading up to that, there was that period of saccadic masking, so you were basically blind, but your brain doesn't like to have that gap, so it fills it in with the first thing it sees, which is that second, so it is just basically assumes, okay, it must have been like that even while I couldn't see it. So. It feels like it was there a lot longer than it actually was. Apparently this is a clock up here. I don't know what I'm doing. Your brain not registering changes, that's a whole other topic I might get into another time. Because that's pretty interesting too. Your brain is pretty crazy. Everyone's brain is crazy. So, that's all I have to say on that right now. More information will be provided in links in the doobly-doo. So, Bex, hope you enjoyed your vacation. I will see you on Wednesday.